Before I start, I just want to say that I have absolutely no experience in game development, and I'm really just a consumer with some opinions. The way I look at it, there's two main art styles a video game could have. One, it could try to make itself as realistic as possible, or two, it can have a more cartoony, more stylistic art style. I think all games sit somewhere on a spectrum of stylization and realism, and I would say that Call of Duty tends to sit somewhere around the middle of this spectrum if not slightly to the realism side. Call of Duty isn't as cartoony as a game like Mario or to compare it to another FPS a game like Overwatch and it's certainly not as realistic as some other games in the FPS genre. Today I wanted to make the argument that all future Call of Duty games should lean into a more cartoony art style and abandon the idea of searching for realism. My first point is that realism takes a lot of development time and with Activision pumping out Call of Duty year after after year, there isn't an unlimited amount of resources that they can put into making Call of Duty games. Developers have to make decisions about where they want to put their resources. And personally, I would rather them spend more time working on the actual game and the actual mechanics of the game, and less about making sure that every single detail is just right. You know, making sure the cracks in the walls are, are great, and, and making sure that this feels like a realistic situation. I needed to be clear here that for the rest of this video, I will be talking about multiplayer and and zombies with an emphasis on zombies though. And on top of this, realistic games tend to be very hard on hardware. It's not easy for these older consoles or, you know, subpar PCs to load these incredibly realistic multiplayer maps or zombies maps. Overall, it just leads to lower FPS or less smooth feeling game. And everyone that plays on PC ends up just putting their graphics on low anyways. I feel like Call of Duty in the past few years has just been putting this emphasis on making every Thing look very gritty and make it feel like you're actually in this war place. I'm speaking about, you know, the Call of Duties from Modern Warfare 2019 up until Vanguard. All of that realism doesn't really add anything to the experience, at least for me and I think a majority of the Call of Duty fan base. Things like muzzle flash and gun smoke probably take like months to get just right and to fine tune it just right so it looks so realistic. But nobody cares, like nobody wants that on their gun to begin with. It just makes for a worse experience at the end of the day than if the game just looks simple and more basic. The overfocus on realism just leads games to look dull and unsaturated. I would say the Black Ops series was the most cartoony Call of Duty games we ever had. And to my point, they were probably also the least realistic in the series. I mean, just look at the comparison to a map like this to a map like this from Modern Warfare 2019. Sure, some may prefer the realistic setting, and at the end of the day, I'm not here to tell you what you should think. I'm just speaking about what I think the majority of the player base views it. But just trying to make these games feel so real and, and like you're actually in a war. I mean, real life is kind of dull. Real life isn't that pretty to look at. It gets tiring on your eyes to stare at a dull screen filled with cluttered textures that don't really add anything to the experience. More stylized video games have the freedom to kind of show their imagination and can explore unlimited options with color and textures and just makes for such a happier experience. I don't know if I'm explaining this that well. Like I said, I'm not a game developer and I'm certainly not an artist. I'm just using terms that I know. On top of this, games with cartoony art style tend to age better. Even in 2022, to get the animations just right for realism is not a thing that's possible to do even with modern technology. So no matter how realistic you can make a game, 10 years from now it's going to look utter trash. However, if we go back in time and look at more cartoony games from 10, 15, 20 years ago, they still hold up. That aesthetic still usually works in the modern day. This next point kind of goes away from graphics and may only apply to zombies, but less realistic games means you can have maps on crazy locations and it's not going to feel out of place. I much prefer older zombies maps that just take place in these crazy over the top locations because they aren't held back by this idea that, oh, it's not realistic enough. Like if you took some of these crazy older maps from like a game like Black Ops 3 or even all the way back to Black Ops 1, maps like Shadows of Evil, Revelations, you know, even on Black Ops 1, like Shangri-La, and you put that into a game like Cold War, it would feel out of place. Because in my opinion, those games had a more 
creative freedom as far as their art style went. My question is, what does the community want? If you were in charge of making the next Call of Duty, how would you describe it with a few words? Would it be grounded in realism or would it be imaginative stylization? Let me know because I want to know.